My name's Jason Wynn. I'm a crime scene investigator for the South Australian Police and currently I'm working at the Forensic Response Section. Members of the Forensic Response Section are responsible for attending declared and serious crimes. So generally it'll be the murders for the state of South Australia. We also attend fire investigation where there's significant structure damage or human injury. Science and maths at school was challenging. Um, I did do biology right through to year 12. Um, and I did mathematics through to year 12 as well, but I toned it down a bit in year 12 because it was starting to get a little bit too difficult. I'm now doing further study through the Canberra Institute of Technology. Um, some of the subjects there are science-based, so we'll be doing biology again and physical chemistry. So I'm going to have to learn that stuff all over again. But that's another challenge and I'll get there. Being a police officer was a bit of a, uh, a career path that I was interested in. I didn't join the police straight away. I went out and had a few different jobs doing different things, but then I decided that was what I wanted to do. It really wasn't until I got to know the guys at Elizabeth Crime Scene that it got me interested in this sort of work and uh, they were quite happy to show me around it, which was really good. The initial courses uh, to become a crime scene investigator are all internal. Once you're qualified, uh, you have to then win a position as a crime scene investigator. It's a promotional position as well. Um, so it's, it's a bit of a waiting game. You sort of continue doing what you're doing and uh, when a job becomes available, you apply for it and hopefully win it. Within the section, we have certain disciplines that are spread amongst everybody. So, shoe mark comparison is one of those disciplines. When we find a shoe mark that's been left at a crime scene, we record that shoe mark, um, and if an offender is apprehended at a later stage with some shoes or they locate a pair of shoes, we can then conduct a comparison to determine if that was the shoe that left that shoe mark at the scene. As crime scene investigators, we have to be non-biased. So we need to think about the possibility that the suspect didn't commit this crime. And if there's any evidence that might show that, um, we can't go in thinking, hey, we've got an offender, we've got to prove that that offender did this crime. We need to go in and thinking, okay, what has happened at this scene? Uh, as we're working along, we'll, we'll throw some hypotheses around. Could this have happened because of this? What physical evidence is here that can prove that? Um, if we find anything, we'll record it, collect it, interpret it, and look at it later. Uh, we might have to then do further examinations on it, such as uh, DNA evidence, which one of the forensic scientists that we work with will do that for us. It doesn't just start and finish at the crime scene. Every job that we go to is different. Um, there's always going to be something that I might not have seen before or some new piece of information that I need to work out and that's what's so challenging about it. Um, we could have one scene that is confined to one room and then the next day we might go to a job which is spread over a whole street. We want to find that piece of evidence that can help solve this crime that will bring justice to, to victims and victims' families. It's very satisfying using all our equipment here to get that one piece of evidence that might solve that crime.